Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to be explaining how you are going to go about planning your activity for the preschool age children that will be joining us um, in a few days and you'll be able to uh, create an activity and then do this activity with every single child in the, in the preschool and um, it's what's going to finish out our unit four. So uh, basically your table will be responsible for creating an activity that is appropriate for the preschool age children in the child care. Now when I say the word appropriate, this is, I'm not worried that you're going to do like inappropriate as in like naughty type lessons or activities. When I say appropriate, I mean like age appropriate, preschool aged appropriate, developmentally appropriate activities. Um, now you've already gone through the, le through the lesson where you've learned what um, conservation, classification, sorting, seriation, transformation, and reversal means. Your activity needs to include some form of that, okay? So um, what that means is, and I'll show you some examples, whatever your activity is, your activity is about conservation, it's about classification, it's about sorting, and so on and so forth. Your activity can be art-based, science-based, math-based, or literacy-based, but please remember to be age-appropriate, so maybe if you're looking up ideas, look up for preschool age children specifically. You don't want to do an activity that's too easy, and you don't want to do an activity that's way too hard. If you look up these types of activities on Pinterest, you will get a lot of ideas, and like I said, I will do that in this video so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Your activity needs to be five minutes long, and when the kids come in, they are going to rotate. So there's about 15-ish kids, um, depending on if anyone's absent or not. And what's going to happen is they will come and they'll get in groups of like three, and three kids will go to a table, and then I'll put a timer on the board that says five minutes. And then after that five minutes is up, that um, group of kids will rotate to the next table, and, that, and then they'll rotate around to every single table. So you will do this activity with every single child in the preschool that's there that day. Um, you're, uh, you will need to provide your own supplies for this activity. Now, obviously, if you need things like um, current, uh, colored pencils, glue, rulers, um, scissors, things like that, we have that here at school, so you don't need to like worry about, about bringing them. But if your activity requires like ribbon or cotton balls or clay or like beads of some kind, like anything like that, you would need to provide that. My advice to you would be to, um, number one, the very first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna set up a group text with your um, table, okay? You have to have a group text so you guys can communicate with each other and remind each other that you have, um, you have, like everyone's prepared. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. There. I lost my train of thought there for a second, um, and that you can make sure everyone gets what they're supposed to get. Now, honestly, um, what I've seen to be the best scenario, as long as far as pe people coming prepared, is to have a list of supplies you need and then having one person, the person who's the most trustworthy and the person who's the most punctual, and, um, and then that person who has like the most free time goes to the store and gets all of those supplies, and then everyone in their group then mows them a couple of dollars. You should not be spending more than $10 on this activity, and that's high, FYI. The, if you're spending more than 10, that's 100% on you, and that was your choice, but you should not need to spend more than that on this type of activity. Um, and then also you can, um, since I'm not here, you can go ahead and message me on her mind and see, and like, if you are curious about supplies, if I have them, you can message me and I will, um, respond back and let you know if I have them or not. Um, so, uh, you will have, like I said, 15 to 16 children come to your station through rotations. So make sure you have enough items for 16 children participate to participate. You will be graded on this activity if it is age appropriate, your group is prepared, your group is engaged, and the children are engaged and participating. So what you're going to do is I have a form you're going to fill out, and I'm going to drag it over into this screen. Okay. So here is the preschool activity sheet that you are I have already printed out for you, and you will come and grab one at the front of the room, and you will put all of your group names right here. So everyone who's sitting at your table, you will write their group first and last name all right here. Okay, on this, um, on these lines. You will then go and um, do some research on your activity, figure out what you wanna do, and like I said, I'll, I'll do an example of what that looks like. And then you will write the activity title and then how long it should take. Again, no more than five minutes, okay? 
you are then going to write supplies needed. So like as an example, you can say, um, I am bringing popsicle sticks. I spelled that. I spelled that wrong. Popsicle sticks. And you're doing this on paper. You don't have to type this. I'm just doing that on the example. And then person responsible for that supply, Billy Bob. Okay. And then so on and so forth. And then you would write, oh, um, we need cotton balls. Uh, person in charge of that is Suzanne. Okay. And then we are bringing um, glitter. This is going to be a messy activity. And the person in charge of that is Mary. Okay. And so on and so forth. And that's what you would write. Okay. Now, if you're going to use something that I have, so like say you need butcher paper. Okay. You would write Hobbs is supplying because that's what I have it here. Okay. And then you'll fill all this out and like, you don't need all 15 lines, but I just included 15 in case you needed that much. And then you're going to circle what type of, um, Development, developmental term is being taught within your lesson, or your activity. So it's a conservation, classification, sorting, seriation, transformation, or reversal. And an activity has been looked over and approved by Hobbes. Now here's where it's gonna get a little bit tricky since I am not here. If you, um, you do need to have your activity approved still, so what I want you to do at this point in this, um, when you need my initials, you are going to take a picture of this activity sheet and you are going to send it, just one person from your group, over to me on Remind and I will respond saying yes or no. And if I say yes, it has been approved and you don't have to worry about this, okay? So you do need to still have my approval and I will be, I'll be on my, I'll have my phone near me so I'll respond quickly and you will need to message me and let me know, like show me and I will approve it. So let me just go over to Pinterest so I can show you some examples of how to like search for this type of activity. So, sorry, I'm bringing Pinterest over here. So we're going to, let's say, search conservation preschool activity, um, activities, okay? And um, air, land, and water, 15 Earth Day STEM activities, lap books for the year, conservation activities for kids, teaching kids about ocean pollution, um, these types of things, types of dinosaurs, like you have so many ideas available to you. Pick one that you think is good. Cloud demonstration, that would be really fun. It may be messy, but it will be really fun. Um, unicorn fizz, science experiment for preschoolers. The kids would love that. Preschool science activities, making clouds. They would love that. Um, remember, your, remember your activity, read it and make sure you could do it in five minutes. Um, and then, um, Make sure like that's when you would choose. Don't choose something lame that the kids do every single time because, you know, that's just try and think a little bit outside the box. And then also if somebody in the um, class has an activity that's very similar to yours, I will tell you, sorry, someone already was, someone was approved first. Their activity is very similar. You need to go back and choose another one. But let's say like we'll do preschool transformation activities and see if they have any examples there. Um, exploring magnetiles, caterpillar to a butterfly, that would be fun, especially because it's spring. Um, hammering the nails, that might take a lot of work. Uh, doctor preschool activities, that may might be fun. Tracing out um, somebody, like the kids' bodies, and then like, ooh, that could be really fun. Tracing out the kids' bodies on like butcher paper, and then like doing, I don't know, I haven't read this, but doing something with doctors, that could be really fun. This looks like it's like an egg carton. Ooh, an egg carton where you have to like put some kind of like, I'm sure, I'm sure a child's nail, not like a real nail, into this, um, like using that pattern. That could be really fun. And so that kind of stuff. You're gonna, um, you're gonna make sure that you um, have all the supplies you need and then you do a little prep. So like say for, say for this one, you did the nail the pattern, okay? Fine motor math. What you would do is you would need to create this little cutout as well. So you would maybe find some pictures online of some like little like cartoon builders, make these circle shapes, and then you would color them, and then you would have to get them either printed out or so on and so forth. Um, I'm gonna look at the schedule really quick and just see, because you're planning this activity while I am gone, which is obviously why I'm making this video. And the activity will be done on, let's see.
Sorry, my computer is not dragging the way it should. Okay, here is the class calendar. Okay, and we are doing it. So you are planning the preschool activity on Monday the 25th, one of the days that I am gone, and then we are doing the activity the next day. So A day, you'll be doing your activity on Wednesday, um, April 27th, and B day, you'll be doing your activity on Thursday, April 28th, meaning you'll have to have all of your supplies by these two dates. As you can see on the calendar, it says assignment and homework right here. After we've got, after you've planned your activity, um, you are, as this plan preschool, act, preschool activity, you are to get any supplies needed for the preschool activity, and then we are doing it on this day. Um, here is your grading sheet, how you'll be graded for this assignment, and I'll print these out as well. You will put your um, group member's name, okay, and so on and so forth, everyone right there, and then did your group member come to class prepared? Now, if everybody was, if you guys agreed as a group that one person was in charge of getting all the supplies, um, and then you just showed up because that was your plan. Yes, you came prepared because the plan was for one person to get it. If you guys decided to split the supplies up and someone did not come prepared, you would write no and they would lose points. Okay, and then I would fill out this portion. So I come through and I give um, you guys 20 points if every group member was prepared. I give you 20 points if each group member was actively engaged. And I give you 20 points if the students are actively engaged, like this preschool students. Um, the activity has a clear learning objective. And the activity is organized, set up, and ready to go for the preschoolers effectively. And then the activity is cleaned up effectively, and the entire thing is out of 100 points. So that is the assignment. And um, you will be, uh, like I said, planning this with a substitute and then sending me your activity over. Remind, and I will approve it um, or not approve it. And then I will be here for the actual activity, okay? So you're just planning it with the sub and making sure you get all the supplies. I will be here to actually oversee the activity and make sure it's... Um, everything goes smoothly. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask me, and uh, you guys will do great.